I would say that the power of attending the convention is relationships. It's the same thing that happens in the classroom. When you can forge a strong relationship with someone, whether they be um, a, another first year teacher or somebody who's been in the game for a lot longer, a lot of our elders um, who've been in the game for over 20 years, they show up at the convention still because they wanna invest in younger teachers like myself. And I have gained a lot of wisdom and strength from the connections I have forged with people who have been English teachers for a long, long time. Um, so I would say attending the convention is professional development, but it is also that spiritual development that comes from understanding that you're part of a continuum. It's not just you alone doing this work or reinventing things that have already been done. You are part of a continuum and a really rich tradition of people who are continually trying to um, exemplify the best practices in serving children with regard to language arts and, and even librarianship and literacy instruction. So these are things that you can't necessarily get at the local level in the same way. Nationally recognized experts in the field of language arts education are all coming together in one place. That's not something that you see every day. So that would be my plug for attending the convention is that it is an unusual experience and it really only happens in that way once a year. So I would say if, if folks push back and say, well, we can provide our own in-house or district PD, it's not the same. It's just not the same.